welcome to this daily devotional it's always a joy and a pleasure to study god's word together with you uh today we are going to be looking at the lord jesus and the mandate that he had on his life as we consider what jesus came to do there are uh, many perspectives that people carry even during the days of jesus there were people who said that he was a good teacher and then there were others who looked at him as a great prophet uh, there were still others who noticed that he was but a good man however what is it that the bible has to say about the mandate of the lord jesus what was the mission that he came to fulfill as we go back to the the uh, description of what the lord jesus was supposed to do through his life um we see right at the outset when his birth was announced that he had come to do something very special in matthew chapter 1 and verse 21 we read she will bring forth a son and you shall call his name jesus for he will save his people from their sins so here we have it the reason why he came to this earth we told that he will save the people from their sins no mankind uh, is corrupted with sin and there needs to be a restitution for the sin of mankind and we know that it's only a blameless and a blemishless sacrifice that can pay for the sins of the earth and um, in his wisdom the father had thought of the lord jesus who is the only lamb of god who was slain for us before the foundation of the world and which is why jesus had to come as fully man while he was still fully god to pay for the sins of mankind so the lord jesus really came to save us from our sins or in other words he came to purchase salvation for us now as we look at that term save it's used many uh, times in the new testament and the usage of that word is used to describe several things not just to save somebody from their sins but here are all the other um, meanings of that word in greek it's the word sozo and it stands for spiritual salvation it stands for forgiveness of sins it also stands for healing from sickness deliverance from every work of satan rescue or preservation from danger and harm and it also means total wholeness so the word sozo it's more than just saving us from our sins it's more than just our forgiveness but it extends to every part of who we are we know that god created man spirit soul and body and the work of the lord jesus touches every part of who we are and that is what he came to do for us he came to save us from our sins but he also came to give us total wholeness and the word of god says that when we put our trust in the lord jesus uh, that is when we believe him believe him in our hearts and we confess with our mouth mouth that he is the son of god and that he came to pay for our sins that we are saved or in other words we receive the sozo or the salvation for which he came to give his life and so today i just want to encourage us you know if you are somebody who has already accepted what jesus has done then walk in the full blessings of sozo and if you are not somebody who has done it already then i invite you to put your trust in the lord jesus let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for the lord jesus and we thank you lord for the price that has been paid for our forgiveness and our blessings god today we we um lord pro- we re- we receive what jesus has done god and father enable us to walk in the full blessings of the cross in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org